Hello and welcome everybody to another Monster Hunter video. Now this video is going to be about the Toka armor set. This beautiful piece of sexy samurai-ness that you see in front of you. Now this is a very, very difficult armor to obtain and I will be walking you through how to get it. Now before we go ahead and continue, don't forget to hit the like button. It really does help me out. Or go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned for future Monster Hunter videos coming up in the very near future. Let's go ahead and see what the armor has entail for you. Now, this armor set entails number one, repeat offender, increases the affinity following repeated attacks, which is great for weapons just like sword and shield, dual swords, and for you guys who are really good with your long sword, this actually really helps because it does increase the affinity with each repeated attacks. Now, it also has elemental crit, which does increase the, the elemental damage, which is fire, water, thunder, ice, dragon. And it does help um, increase that. You can gem it in with a nice, good talisman with no problem. The next ability that you're going to be having is your critical boost, which increases the damage of your critical hits. And they all go hand in hand with each other. And this is invaluable. Now, I went ahead and gemmed in half hunger. Now, let's go ahead and talk about how to get this. First and foremost, make sure your HR break. That's number one. Number two, do ahead this three village star quest called for whom the egg yolks. Now make sure that after each quest, you speak to somebody in Yukimo village with the yellow speech bubble you see to the right. Now remember, this is a Yukimo chain, so you're gonna have to keep coming back here and talking to these people. Do not forget that, that is super duper important. Step three is gonna be uh, village star quest four, peddling practice. One, and make sure once you do that quest, come back and speak to somebody in the village. After that, you're going to go online and fight two hyper monsters. It doesn't really matter which ones. Just go ahead and pick any two that you like and take them out. Uh, the next step is you're going to do Fresh is Best. Now, it's a guild two star quest. It's really easy. Just kill 20 uh, bullfangos, get rid of them, come back and speak to them. Then you're going to talk to the Yukimo chief and do Bye Bye Jigaya. Now, this quest is very important to do because it does trigger the next step in the process. Now, after you went ahead and do this, make sure you go back and talk to the, to the village elder again. And once you do that, you're going to do the following quest, which will be boom, 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 a king robed in smoke. Now, if you don't do this, the next key quest in this line won't, won't open up, which is island heat. Now, go ahead and do island heat, and it'll go ahead and shoot you over to the next portion in this, just make sure you keep talking to the people in Yukimo Village with the yellow speech bubbles. They'll be in the foot bath. You're gonna next do Azuros the Azure Beast. It's another Yukimo uh, quest. Go back online, and then you're gonna be able to do nibbling for apples. Once you go ahead and do nibbling for apples, go ahead and do the Plesioff Adventure. This one is kind of hard, but it, it's a lot of fun. Once you go ahead and do that, go back to Yukimo, speak to the village elder, and you'll open up Steam and Smoke online. Once you go ahead and do steam and smoke, you'll be able to unlock the wolf in the foot bath, which is extremely important to go ahead and do for the rest of the quest. Now you're gonna go back to Yukimo Village, you're gonna do these three quests in succession. Royal Spit, the Forest Farcast, and the Entrance of Water Dancer. Make sure, the Entrancing Water Dancer, I'm sorry. Go ahead and do those three and talk to the people in the foot bath, which each completion, and then you're gonna be able to go back to your uh, to the hub and you're gonna do these couple of quests. Go talk to your cat and the next quest you're gonna do is gonna be called the Combinator. Once you do the Combinator, go back into your log, check with the, with the people back in Yukimo. I can't keep stressing enough to keep talking to them. Meanwhile, and then you're gonna do the Palico Armory. Once you do the Palico Armory, it does go ahead and open up the final portion of the adventure, which will be to do, it's called Secret Baths. Make sure I got it right, pop, 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 pop. Yeah, did I get it, did I get it? Yep, searching for Secret Baths, there you go. Once that quest chain's opened up, you'll be able to go ahead and craft the armor. Now, if you did like this video, um, just go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know that you guys like this and I'll be making more fun Monster Hunter videos for you guys. Now, take care, have fun, peace out, you guys.